G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. A couple of things on the bench today, just newly in. So this is a quick preview from Dell RC. They make some pretty good stuff. I've always been quite impressed with the Dell stuff. Everything from props through to flight controllers, ESCs and even quad frames. Not bad kit. So let's look at what they're doing now. Well, there's two things. There's this flight controller and there's a uh, 4-in-1 ESC. Um, just quickly run through the various bits and pieces, the technical specs, and I'll show you what they look like. So let's take a look at the flight controller first. It's an F7 board. I've got some notes here, so I may want to do them. Yes, <laughs> it has dual gyros. Now this is interesting, dual gyros. Apparently because there's two different types of gyros, you get the benefits of the smooth flying, plus a much faster 32 kilohertz refresh rate for the acro and freestyle flying. So you can choose, you can switch backwards and forwards apparently. I'll be interested to try that out. Now it'll also run on up to 10S, 10S, so you don't need a BEC for it. It has a two amp BEC on board and you can run it with 10S. Now obviously most people are going to go no more than 6S, so it, it'll run 6S quite happily with a 2 amp BEC. There's an OSD on there, and um, what else can I say? Well, notice it's got this little lead out the side here. This little lead actually means you can plug it straight into that, that 4-in-1 ESC uh, without having to have a whole lot of cables everywhere, and it does all the clever stuff. That's quite nice. Now, um, there's probably not a lot to really see here. One thing that I am quite surprised is that they don't have a conformal coating on this. Now I would love to see a conformal coating because as we know when you get moisture on your flight controller sometimes bad things happen. So I might talk in a future video about conformal coating and what you can do to actually add your own conformal coating because you can do it. I've been doing it for years and it makes a huge difference on some types of electronics where you have them exposed to the weather. So there's nothing worse than flying on a rainy day landing in a, in a wet area and suddenly your quad doesn't work until you dry it out or worse smoke comes out of it. So Conformal coating would be nice, but this looks pretty well designed, pretty well built. Um, I don't really have any complaints. It looks kind of schmick. So that's the flight controller. So if you're looking for a top end flight controller, this may be just the thing for you. I will be putting it on a frame and testing it out fairly shortly, but um, yeah, spec wise, bloody marvelous. Now let's take a look at the Rocket 4-in-1 ESC. Oh, the packaging on these things, bloody marvellous. Look, I mean, yeah, I'm quite impressed. It comes with a nice little plastic box. I'll unbox it for you. Yes, I know, we don't do that, but here we go. Let's take the, the goodness out. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> there's a lot, actually, I'll pull out because there's a lot of stuff in this package. It's as well I decide to unbox it because you can see what you get for your money. There are us as a cable and some a capacitor and some rubber silicon mounting grommets there. And then there is the... Uh, ESC itself, which is actually kind of hard to get out of here. What have they done? Glue the bloody thing in. Where's it going? Hang on a minute. I may have to do a jump cut. No, I don't. I can see what's happened. It has some little tabs on the side. Man, this is a bit of work. Here we go. Right, let's go back to the macro view, see what you get. Once again, this is a really well put together piece of kit. Look at all those, look at all those caps there. That's great. That's fantastic. And one of the few ESCs, it has a heat sink on the top. I mean, look at that. And it, talk about transformer. Um, has a heat sink there and that will help even out the heat on the FETs because it's not uncommon to get one or two FETs that are a bit hot and they can fail prematurely. Putting a heat sink on there evens out that whole heat thing. That's kind of cool. Now I'll tell you about some of the specs. It's 50 amps at 6S, which is kind of cool. 32-bit uh, ESCs, four 32-bit ESCs on there. It's got an eight-layer PCB. What does that mean? Well, if you look at the side there, there's eight layers of copper in there, which helps in a number of ways. It means you can get components more, more closely packed, which makes it smaller. But it also means you can soak the heat away more easily and provide a better ground plane. Little things that make the whole thing just, they just work better if you have that kind of setup. So that, that's really good. You don't find eight layer boards on your cheapy ESCs, that's for sure. Now it's running BL Heli 32. It supports everything from D-Shot 150 to D-Shot 1200. It does multi-shot, one-shot and PWM for the old school flyers. And it has what they call active continuation technology. And as we all know, I've got no bloody clue what that is. Um, I think it's a kind of a dynamic recharge from if what they say is true. It sounds a little bit like when you do dynamic braking on your motors, the, the motors used to send current back to your battery. I don't know whether that would work. Maybe I'll do a test and we'll see. It could potentially give you slightly longer run times on a battery because you know, you've got the, you know, the, the motors recharging the battery, but I don't know that, um, well, we'll try it out. I know there are battery chargers that will you know, recharge your car battery from your batteries you haven't used, so maybe this works the same. I don't know. Anyway, there's the connector for the, it's got the connector to go on that little flight controller that we showed you earlier. All together, paired up, those two would make a really nice, really, really schmick setup. Again, though, a conformal coating. Where's the conformal coating? I'd love to see that. 
But that's new from Dell. Go to the website. I'm not going to put a link actually because that means this video won't get promoted on YouTube. I'm going to suggest you go to the Dell RC website and have a look. I'll put the URL here for Dell, Dell's website, Ooh, just down here, um, and see for yourself what the specs are. And as I say, I'll be throwing this into a frame in the next week or so. We'll take it out, try and destroy it, see how well it works. I've got some 6S batteries on order. Woohoo! I can't even fly 4S. Why did I order 6S batteries? I have no idea. But you'll be able to see the mayhem when they arrive. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Thank you to my Patreon supporters for all the support you give and make these videos possible. And stay tuned for some more stuff uh, that will be arriving shortly, I hope. And if you've got a product you want featured on RC Model Reviews, send it to me. And no guarantees I'm going to say nice things, but I'll tell it like it is. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.